ऑल्सो आइडल मिंग यू नो कुछ सेशन रख सकते हैं मेजर पेंडोल्स होंगे वो भी कवर हो जाएंगे तो ये सब तो प्लानिंग है अभी अगले हफ्ते से we'll we'll start getting uh, you know uh, their proposals to वैसे seal हो जाएगा तो एक बार agency आ आ जाएगा ना then it becomes easier for us for the execution or uh, ma'am I suggest uh, you know yeah. maybe if we can freeze by month of July the uh, let me give you some tentative dates of some full moon nights for the next five years for Elora festival okay. because for twenty twenty four already we have started getting plenty of messages. Mm-hmm. For the Elora Festival to be held in Jan or Feb, even mm-hmm. though we announced the artist name one month prior to the opening date, but at least if we can freeze on the dates and have a very nice digital um, banner made for that, so that on Instagram, on all social media handles, Twitter, Facebook, everywhere, WhatsApp, we can circulate that this, these are the dates of next five years of the Elora Festival. So that will make uh, uh, that will help us to and groups and also. Some special enclosure for them to sit, just like how in Khajuraho and Kolar, they have these mm-hmm. special tourist enclosures. We are foreign tourist enclosures there, and they are given audio headsets because a lot of these speeches during the festival are made in the local language, which a lot of other mm-hmm. European, uh, you know, non-English speaking foreigners cannot understand. So what uh, Orissa Tourism and MP Tourism had done, they had made special audio uh, uh, headsets in about fourteen uh, languages. Which was already pre-recorded, so these guests could really understand the meaning of each classical performance. Okay, okay. So we really so, have to organize it so beautifully that yeah. these tourists don't get confused when they come in the fair, uh, in the festival. Sorry, and you know, they should they should relate everything that they should be able to understand okay. everything. uh so suni ji would uh, what i will do is yeah. i will i will connect. So I think you you must be in uh, touch with uh, Jadhav, right? uh from our yes but sir our... ma'am these things have to be handled at mumbai because they have limited <laughs> powers there locally and maybe discuss anything there they say go to our head office go to our head office okay, so you know okay. uh, that is a perpetual that's why i prefer dealing with you all because you all can take okay. your decisions and okay escalate the so, matter so, with so the so if you service. can if you can yeah. mail me uh, these suggestions on elora festival yes i do that I'll do that. I will, yeah. Yes. I will take that forward. So uh, yes, just I will for do that for you. Just for information, just for information. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Elora Festival uh, is actually uh, managed by the deputy director of Aurangabad in uh, with the collector of Aurangabad. So what Correct. we made to uh, know is that there is a committee, separate committee that is formed. uh where they've already decided yes. decide on yes. the artists and the setup and the agency and everything so i actually followed up yes. with them for yes. the dates but they have not yet had that meeting you know but uh, maybe if you just write to me and uh, we can see if we can get the five year dates yes i'll give you that because yeah. you see uh, with due respect to the local committee a lot of them are not in the inbound uh, are not tourism industry stakeholders right. so they don't understand the importance of giving a five years date So right. that is the problem we've been facing for the last twenty-five years, uh, you know, since the time this festival has started. And uh, time and again, we've told them that just just look at the other state festivals, how well organized they are for the next five years. Right. So Suni ji, just to uh, touch on these festival things. So I remember yeah. this Elephanta festival that used to happen. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. And even the Bandanda festival. Get- we actually get a, a lot of um, calls asking when is elephanta happening yes. and uh, yes. unfortunately we don't have uh, uh, we, we we don't have that on the calendar see understand that this calendar is been uh, not really done by us to uh, you know as the minister's office also who is no involved. i have some past brochures i will show you ma'am how city bank and hong kong bank uh, 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 bank Suni ji, I'm aware because uh, my mother was involved, so I I am aware of this definitely. Um, yeah, but maybe um, you know the reason of doing this. See, we could have just yes, circulated. yeah, you know that. Oh yes. Yeah, yeah. So yes. we could have just circulated this on the WhatsApp group. Maybe one one more question from my side. Uh, yes, if you want to arrange some time to uh, for Maharashtra, oh, then okay. uh, what will be the process? 
ഫ്ലോട്ടഡ് <laughs> uh so uh, sakshi we already have uh, an impanelment we already have agencies which are impaneled with us um, yeah. so they'll be there with us for another two and a half years uh so we will we will uh, it's a it's a close uh, rfp that we float to them and they have to quote oh so it's already for yes. the ones who have yes. been impaneled yes. earlier okay yes. and now the new impanelment will happen up to and a half years yes yes got you got you yes but uh, i believe sakshi you all had actually handled fam for us uh, two years ago we would have yes i'm sure i think yeah. radhu is also on the call yes yeah yeah we did that yes we did okay. that so uh, maybe sakshi and raju if you could uh, just connect with me and we'll see how we can work uh, around the fam um, you know because see the idea is the fam is the highlight for us uh because uh, you know all these festivals and events the the names that you all see now on the on the on the screen uh we want to we want the tourism angle to be heavily included into this so fam is one of the key things which actually would bring out the tourism angle and bring out this the the b2b so ultimately that is what our focus is so if you can just connect to me directly after after this call it will be good so sure. we'll do that yeah. thanks sure. and yeah and uh, uh, just i would want all of you all i'll, I'll share this on the yeah. group but if yeah. all of you all can just go through this uh, event a see a lot of these events we we have not really uh, you know these these are events which i feel sometimes you know we could add another location uh, like say a mahableshwar festival mahableshwar is anyways uh too crowded uh, already there is a heavy tourism a tourist footfall um so maybe doing a mahableshwar festival probably is not a great idea uh according to me i don't know about you all but then you know just generally i want to understand from y'all uh, uh and i would want uh, emails to be sent to us so that we have something from y'all uh, tangible some tangible suggestions from you all as to which festivals we really need to have uh, so that going forward the next year at least we plan keeping you all in mind so i would request that from all of you all priti ji hi this is jaswant here from aurangabad i uh, had yes, i had one request and i had one suggestion now yes, the suggestion yes. is then when you do the road shows i would suggest you take some professional uh, stakeholders on board because you know what happens when you are mm-hmm. do road shows it is just uh, i can say a waste of time because if you are not able mm-hmm. to reach the uh, p- public properly then you know it is uh, just a waste of time and money in that my mm-hmm. request uh, is uh, about now that we are having iito into aurangabad i would request because this is a once in a lifetime opportunity what we got in aurangabad so mm-hmm. i would suggest you know you have very good high definition uh footage uh, of ajanta elora bibika makbara dawlatabad and everything with you and yes. you had come up during the film fair awards you had come up with really very good nice small short film sort of things you know so yes. can we also look into that showcasing aurangabad exclusively not entire maharashtra but aurangabad only for mm-hmm. iato a film say for what 3 3 to 4 minutes which can cover all these places 
so that you know we can uh, project this during ieto uh, with the maharashtra tourism uh, film and we can also use this if we if by any chance we are going to participate in the overseas trade fairs so you know where we uh, uh, aurangabad can be showcased accordingly so this is one request which we want to okay, get to so, look into so just uh, um, just uh, trying to understand you want us to create specific uh, av for aurangabad is that what uh, you're saying that's right that's one option what you can look into because you already have footage with you the second option would be you know to have a short film competition sort of a thing from the local deputy director's office and the funding can come from dpdc also for this and uh, uh, during monsoon you know there are lots of uh, youngsters who have come up with a uh, lot of good ideas who can shoot during monsoon and then you know we can also use that product uh, for our uh, showcasing aurangabad during ieto Okay, so what is the duration of content that you require? If you can not, give us that, not not more than three, three and a half or four minutes. Am I right, Sunit sir? Sunit ji. Okay, so for yes, three yes, minutes, yes, yes, correct, absolutely right. Yeah, so for three minutes or so, so we we actually have footage of uh, Ajanta Elora because we've we've got that shot from our uh, travel XP um, production as well. so uh, we can create something um okay you know because like g20 k has come to aurangabad mm -hmm. and i really don't know when g20 will come back to india similarly we don't know when iot will come back to aurangabad so you know let's and cash on this opportunity okay okay yes sure. we have the time now you know uh, at least we have two months in hand for the convention so we can uh, plan some very good hd quality video films and now technology is available drone camera photography is available which was not there 10 years ago Mm -hmm. sir they already got good footages with them you yeah, know yeah we do have good footage uh, with us of course see, we, some we... of the footage that you all have i saw it last time you mm -hmm. see um, one has to wait for the lush greenery of monsoon but a lot of footage was taken while it was raining so right. that did not go well with a lot of tour operators okay so what you need is we need the lush greenery but then one has to wait for sunlight to come in and you know mm -hmm. so okay. yeah okay so uh, we will we will uh, we'll just check how we can get so we we'll have to create something we'll have to uh, churn out something from our existing footage let, let, let us just think through sure yeah thank you so much yeah thank okay. you thank you yeah uh, okay so i guess uh, we we are already i think we've discussed most of the things and the whatsapp group is there Uh, so you all can also raise any questions or suggestions in the group also uh, also revive banganga and elephant if you can uh, so add it in your list so banganga sunit ji is a silent zone yeah so <laughs> there's a high court order you know that okay so, so then it is elephant we can add yeah. elephant yes we had actually put elephant so um, let's see i really do and also the kalidas festival the shau festival yes, kalidas kalidas yes. at nagpur yeah kalidas also so we had suggested kalidas festival we suggested uh, elephanta and also banganga checking if we could get um, uh, you know uh, permission for at least two days uh, yeah i'm so, sure yeah. Uh, you yes. see we are, we were not having some loud dj or something this is purely classical so yes. yeah and it is well within the 10 o'clock permissible limit yes and at the uh, same yeah, time so... even if you can revive the shahu festival of kolhapur okay all these uh, brochures and all the past uh, festival information is easily available at your offices okay fine okay so i think we'll wrap for today's meeting thank you everyone for uh, your active participation and sorry that you all had to wait uh, due to the technical issues but thanks a lot and i hope that every month maybe if we could do this quick uh, <laughs> it will be really nice um yeah yeah the way we keep meeting during road shows or some conclaves and then you know <laughs> there's no communication so if we can do that yeah. that'll be really nice okay. <laughs> yeah priji thank you share your number i think it was a lovely presentation yes. and a great discussion yes. yeah and certainly i would like to connect with you all because i think today the world is going towards eco and sustainability and all of that so you know i i think i would like to discuss some of those um, those things because that can be something which will really attract international tourists you know 
Okay. Sorry, just share your name, uh, ma'am. I'm sorry, I didn't get your name. Me, I'm Zia Z I A. I'll put it in the chat. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I run Aqua Sales. So uh, you know, we are okay. we are more into what should I say? Um, mm, sailing is very eco friendly, right? So we are really involving ourselves in in the worldwide mm -hmm. trends on sustainability, um, green green tourism, so to speak. So thank you very much, oh, everyone. Great. This is Ajit Mohit. This is thank you. Thank you very Thanks, much. Thank you, Ajit. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And <laughs> hoping you all will support us to promote Maharashtra in a very big way. And without your support, it's really not possible to do it. So please be there. We are always there to support you all. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Your very, very nice session. Group, thank you. Okay, thank you so much. I'm just logging off and I think okay. we'll, yeah, Bye. thanks a lot. Bye. Recording stopped.